diamonds in my teeth, I got a lot of shine. Running up the number, that's a lot of crime. Try to take it from me, must be out your mind. I keep a lot of sun. Smokey in the air, that's a lot of crime. Pockets running over with the dollar sign. Try to take it from me. America has always been fascinated with the mob, kingpins, crime. It's in movies, shows, history, and it's become culture. Crime and scandal, from inmates in Alcatraz to John Gotti and Al Capone. But the United States has its own share of homegrown drug kingpins, mob bosses, and gangsters. This is Gangsters of America. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC and I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. You can also follow me on all my other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And now my Patreon account that I just set up with a lot of VIP videos coming in hot from Ron Strong Crew. End of this video, I am gonna give you a list of prices that they had in 1880 to take care of business. Is it gassed up? Is it strong? What about the tow truck bumper? Did you check the tires? Is it on? Salud, muchachos. Salud! Organized crime, group activities has always been a part of America. That's how most immigrants actually survived coming to this country, was sticking together, creating a gang. We lived in very different times back then, and a lot of people that were coming off the boats didn't have nothing and nothing to lose. This gang's name came from their cry, which sounded like a bird or an owl. Why? Oh, why? <laughs> I wonder what their sign was, you know, how they shake up, what's the colors? <laughs> this gang was formed out of members that were left throughout different gangs in the Five Points. Yes, Gangs of New York Five Points actually is based on a lot of that history from those old gangs. Their headquarters was a notorious brewery dive bar known as the Morgue. They, had, they, they said, it's on a newspaper article actually, they had over a hundred violent murders that took place in this bar <laughs> it's like i'm good i'm gonna go drink at another bar <laughs> this gang had some of the most notorious gangsters of its time most of his members ended up in prison or murdered or hung hung yes back then they just hung you in front of everybody it was a very very violent time in america it was a different time a lot of murders, a lot of... One of their members used to gouge people's eyes out. He made weapons with his shoes, uh, stuff like that. So it was like a job every day, I guess, you know, killing. The gangs, the gangs really like peak years were from 1880 to 1890, led by Mike. He had one requirement, that every new member at least has committed one murder before they joined the gang. Does it count if I killed three chickens? They call me El Comeculos. <laughs> you know, you show up, you gotta show up with your resume. Hey guys, it is a part of our history, whether we like it or not. Uh, this country was formed on a lot of organizations, gangs, uh, groups. And once we get in more into the history and stuff, we will talk about the type of gangs that are here in America. Because there's 
national street gangs, there's local street gangs, there's just prison gangs, motorcycle gangs, and then there's like ethnic or organized crime gangs where it's either based on your race or based on, uh, you know, like the mob. There's different kind of organizations, different kind of groups, different kind of gangs. Gangs, organized groups, whatever you want to call it, a bunch of kids on the street. These kids range from nine years old to 17. Uh, it was a rough time, a tough time in America. People were trying to survive. People were coming together as groups for safety, to protection, to survive. And that's what it is. My name's JC. I am wrong strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here free. Not doing drugs. Not committing murders. Not transporting drugs. Not doing drugs. Just live your life, man, to the fullest every day because you never know if tomorrow's going to be there. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.